Welcome to Carrier Guidance Max playlist. In this video, I am going to start the limit of a function. So already we completed in previous two videos domain and range. So here I am going to start limit. The limit is, we will say limit x tends to a f of x equal to l. That means a function f of x be a real variable x. Let a and l be a fixed numbers. We will take a and l be a fixed numbers. So here this f of x approaches l when x approaches a. This is our general limit function. Limit extends to a f of x equal to l. That means uh, the f of x based on that will identify the limit l. So f of x approaches l when x approaches a. Here uh, you will have two model. Left hand limit and right hand limit. So limit extends to a, here I written minus, that is represent left hand, f of x equal to l. And the right hand limit will write, uh, limit extends to a, the plus symbol, f of x equal to l. So the meaning is, this is a. So left side, it comes closer to a, that is a bar. Right side, it comes closer to a, that is right hand side a plus like that closer to the values the result when uh, limit extends to a f of x equal to l if and only if both are equal the left hand side and right hand side are equal to small l or capital l you can take your uh, convenient so here i taken small l both are equal means if it is equal so limit is exist if it is not equal left hand side and right hand side now limit doesn't exist so based on that uh, we'll solve the problem okay the first one uh, here i taken uh, limit extends to zero modulus of x equal to zero we need to prove so here this modulus of x we can write minus x if x less than zero this is plus x if we write x greater than or equal to 0 this is your uh, function for a modulus of f of x okay here less than 0 means here we should apply negative numbers when i am substituting here negative values of x i will get positive minus x now when i am substituting minus values here i will get uh, positive values here already positive okay for in real this is 0 and infinity minus infinity this minus x comes from left hand side minus infinity to 0 here plus x comes from right hand side infinity to 0 this is your uh, limit here I am going to write the limit x tends to 0 minus left hand side uh, function f of x I will write limit x tends to 0 f of x equal to left hand side function is minus x when I am substituting x equal to 0, I will get 0. Right? Huh? In similar manner, limit x tends to 0 plus right hand side, the function f of x. Here I will write limit x tends to 0, the function f of x is right hand side x equal to, when substituting x equal to 0, I will get 0. Both here, left hand side and right hand side are equal left hand side and right hand side are equal so the limit exists that's we can write generally you can write here limit x tends to 0 modulus of x equal to you will get 0 okay limit is exist because of left hand side and right hand side both gives limit 0 so limit exists okay so why we take an here uh, left hand side and right hand side means the function is different minus x left hand side plus x is right hand side so that we have to take both left hand uh, and right hand okay so next one is problem to prove that limit x tends to 0 modulus of x divided by x does not exist we need to prove already in previous problem we seen uh, modulus of x is exist here we can see how to solve this before that uh, you should know what is modulus of x modulus of x means we can write uh, minus x if x less than 0 plus x if 
f greater than or equal to 0 always you know that this modulus of x divided by x I will write so here I will get minus x divided by x if x less than 0 okay plus x divided by x if x greater than or equal to 0 simplify this you will get a minus 1 if x less than 0 plus 1 if x greater than or equal to 0 so which is modulus of x divided by x value based on this uh, straight away we can say uh, left hand side value x less than 0 means left hand side your limit is minus 1 x greater than or equal to 0 means right hand side your limit is plus 1 both are not equal this limit is does not exist we will write in a mathematical form limit x tends to 0 left hand side minus the function f of x we can write what it is limit x tends to 0 the function modulus of x divided by x is equal to your answer is minus 1 left hand side x less than 0 means and limit x tends to 0 right hand side f of x you will write limit x tends to 0 uh, right hand side function is modulus of x divided by x equal to you will get 1 okay so see both are not equal left hand side is not equal to right hand side so the limit x tends to 0 modulus of x divided by x does not exist okay if both sides are equal means it exists otherwise it does not exist so next problem find limit x tends to 1 f of x where here f of x equal to x plus 1 if x not equal to 1 and second one is y if x equal to 1 so you can draw one line this is 1 plus infinity and here minus infinity when x equal to 1 your uh, limit is pi when x equal to not equal to 1 that means minus infinity to 1 left hand side also x plus 1 right hand side also 1 to infinity x plus 1 here the left hand side and the right hand side both the functions are same huh? if it is both are same means no need to find left hand side right hand side straight away you can write limit x tends to 1 f of x that is limit x tends to 1 f of x equal to x plus 1 here you can substitute x equal to 1 you will get 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 but the limit we identify the limit is 2 the functional value here when I am substituting in our function x equal to 1 f of 1 is equal to we will get pi the uh, limit and functional value need not be same okay here you will get the function value f of 1 is equal to pi so next problem if f of x equal to square root of x minus 4 if f greater than 4 and second function is 8 minus 2x if x less than 4 check whether limit x tends to 4 f of x exists or not we will check so here Again, you can take the line straight line minus infinity to plus infinity real numbers the midpoint you can take 4 the left hand side x less than 4 is a represent here uh, x less than 4 the all values the function is 8 minus 2 x okay x greater than 4 is represent here uh, 4 to infinity this function is x minus 4 here you can see left hand side function also different right hand side function also different we can able to find separately left hand side limit and right hand side limit okay so here i'll find a limit x tends to 4 minus represent left hand side f of x is equal to i'll write limit x tends to infinity f of x equal to left hand side function 8 sorry 4 uh, function is 8 minus 2x just substitute uh, x equal to 4 here 8 minus 2 into 4 I will get 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 okay and next limit 
x tends to 4 plus means right hand side here our function what right hand side 4 to infinity our function is limit x tends to 4 the function is square root of x minus 4 substitute x equal to 4 you will get 0 right huh? so both left hand side value and right hand side values are equal huh? both left hand side and right hand side values are equal when I am substituting here x equal to 4 you will get 4 minus 4 huh? it gives 0 so both the left hand side and right hand side values are equal so limit x tends to 4 the function f of x is exist because both uh, limit are same left hand side and right hand side okay so next problem number 5 check whether limit x tends to minus 3 3x plus 9 divided by modulus of x plus 3 exist it's very simple before uh, finding the limit value just you can write this 3x plus 9 divided by modulus of x plus 3 I'll write here 3x plus 9 this modulus of x plus 3 first I will write minus x plus 3 if x less than x plus 3 less than 0 okay next I will write uh, 3x plus 9 divided by plus x plus 3 if x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0 so here I will take 3 outside commonly so I will get x plus 3 divided by minus of x plus 3 if this x plus 3 I will write x 3 shift to left hand side, right hand side you will get minus 3 ok and second one also 3 I will take outside I will get x plus 3 divided by plus x plus 3 if 3 shift to right hand side you will get x greater than or equal to minus 3 so this both x plus 3 will cancel you will get uh, minus 3 if x less than minus 3 second one plus 3 if x greater than or equal to minus 3 right uh, see 3 x plus 9 divided by modulus of x plus 3 is equal to you will get minus 3 when x less than minus 3 that means less than minus 3 is shifted to left hand side x greater than or equal to minus 3 is right hand side for example you can take minus infinity to plus infinity this is your uh, the function is 0 uh, generally we can uh, take this is 0 and here you will get a uh, here you will have minus 3 and here you have greater than minus 3 that means uh, greater than or equal to values like that here when x less than minus 3 from this side you will get minus 3 when x greater than or equal to minus 3 means from all this side will be plus 3 your function so this is left hand side this is right hand side if you are taking for generally you can take here itself minus 3 no need to put uh, 0 all those things so from this side will be minus 3 function and this side will be plus 3 function like that we can take the limit x tends to minus 3 left hand side the function f of x equal to limit there is no function directly will have minus 3 you will write 3 minus 3 will be your answer f of x equal to 3x plus 9 divided by modulus of x plus 3 and limit x tends to minus 3 plus right hand side the function f of x we can write the limit x tends to minus 3 the plus is right hand side already you know that the 3x plus 9 divided by modulus of x plus 3 will be your function is equal to plus 3 here you will get minus 3 here you will get plus 3 so both are not equal to left hand side values are not equal to right hand side ok so that the limit x tends to minus 3 
3 x plus 9 divided by modulus of x plus 3 is not exist because left hand side and right hand side limits are different minus 3 plus 3 so that it is not exist okay so just I will recall what we seen in this video so I started limit the basic definition limit extends to a f of x equal to l that means f of x is x is approaches l when uh, x approaches a that is the main definition for uh, limit that means l is a limit of f of x we say that like that here we have left hand side limit and right hand side limit representation the left hand side moves towards to a the right hand side moves towards a the basic a bar a minus is represent left hand side a plus is represent right hand side if it is both the limit left hand side and right hand side limit is same means the limit is exist otherwise doesn't exist so based on that uh, we seen problems the modulus of x modulus of x means you will get minus x plus x two functions less than zero is left hand side uh, greater than 0 is right hand side left hand side function is minus x right hand side function is plus x when substituting x equal to 0 you will get both the limits are same so left hand side and the right hand side are equal limit is exist and problem 2 we return uh, we take an x plus uh, the problem 2 is before that uh, we will see problem 3 the problem 3 we take an uh, f of x equal to x plus 1 if x not equal to 1 and pi if x equal to 1 when your uh, value is 1 your limit is pi and remaining x not equal to 1 both side left hand side and right hand side are x plus 1 you will get so the limit is same sorry the function is same both left hand side and right hand side so no need to find your left hand side right hand side directly you can substitute limit x tends to 1 f of x equal to x plus 1 here you can substitute x equal to 1 you will get 2 but when I am substituting x equal to 1 in your function you will get pi here need not be same both limit and functional value and the problem 4 here we taken x greater than 4 and x less than 4 you will have two different functions left hand side and right hand side left hand side you can substitute x equal to 4 I will get 0 right hand side I will substitute in the function x equal to 4 I will get 0 so both are equal so limit exist okay in problem 2 is limit x tends to 0 modulus of x divided by x does not exist we need to prove so modulus of x we know minus x plus x and divided by x you will get minus 1 plus 1 the limit minus 1 is left hand side value because of x less than 0 the limit uh, plus 1 is represent uh, right hand side value because of greater than or equal to 0 if you want to say in a graphical way you can see the minus 1 is here you may get y equal to minus 1 that is f of x here you will get a plus 1 y equal to plus 1 this left hand side is moves towards closer to minus 1 here right hand side it moves towards closer to plus 1 okay so that left hand side equal to minus 1 your answer right hand side your value is plus 1 your answer so the limit both are different function so limit left hand side you will get minus 1 limit right hand side you will get plus 1 so both are not equal so your answer does not exist the limit okay and next one is the problem important one uh, limit extends to minus 3 3 x plus 9 divided by modulus of x plus 3 so this modulus of x plus 3 I will write uh, minus x plus 3 plus x plus 3 when x plus 3 greater than 0 less than 0 I will get minus x plus 3 when uh, x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0 I will get plus x plus 3 okay so from that I will take 3 outside both the term commonly x plus 3 will cancel we will get minus 3 and plus 3 when less than minus 3 means left hand side greater than minus 3 means right hand side both are uh, not a same it's different limit minus 3 and plus 3 when substituting left hand side and right hand side you will get minus 3 and plus 3 so that left hand side and right hand side values are not equal so this limit doesn't exist okay thank you pa. so again we'll continue limit based on problems in next video